Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Maximo, Rina, Rosemary. Thank you for being on time. Okay, uh, today we are going to have classes, as you, as you already know. But uh, we are just going to review a little bit of the material. Thank you for being in here. And um, let me know if you have any questions. Before beginning the class, I would like to ask you, uh, well, first of all, how are you? And second, uh, have you worked in the platform? Do you have any questions? Did you finish section one and section two? Yes, we have finished. Okay, perfect. So in that way, you won't have any problem. No, teacher. You don't have no any problem. question? No, no problem? problem? No. Okay. Perfect. So we are going to review just a little bit of yesterday's class. Let's see here. Yes, you cannot find it. Let me see here. Yes, it's here. Okay. Today we are going to finish uh, section two. And it's, we already finished section one, right? Which is, it's uh, really worth seeing. And section two is, it could happen to you. So remember, uh, finishing this today, if you haven't. And um, this will be the, just a review of this material, okay? So let me see what we have here. Okay, yesterday we were talking about the past, the past continuous. Versus the simple past, right? We were talking about these. Uh, we were talking about uh, past continuous for an action in progress in the past, and simple past for an action that interrupts the action in progress, right? So I was taking a shower when my cell phone ran. While Maria was walking home, she found fifty dollars. I was driving to work, but I got a flat tire. So that's what you have to. That's what we are going to practice today. We were checking also the past continuous, the formulas, how can how we can uh, create these sentences and the simple past and how we combine uh, the past continuous versus simple past using when, but, and while. And also we were checking um, different adverbs, right? To tell stories like coincidentally, miraculously, Luckily, fortunately, um, suddenly, sadly, unfortunately, e strangely, surprisingly, and unexpectedly. Now we had a homework also. This is something that we are going to check later. Let me see here. And Actually, what we have to do is just to, to write a sentence, right? Joining the two tenses, the simple pre, uh, the simple past and the past continuous. That was the, the activity. I don't know if you did the homework. Hicieron la tarea? Did you do the homework? Any of you? Like any... Did you write like any of these sentences? Like I was walking down the street when surprisingly I saw a celebrity. Strangely, nobody did anything when the two boys were fighting. 
as she was washing a shirt when unexpectedly she found money in it, something like that. Did you write any of any of it? No sentences? Okay, no problem, because we can practice. Actually, today we are going to practice, okay? So make sure that you pay attention to everything that we are going to speak right now. So, um, yes. Eh, solamente que en pasado continuo hice uno. Okay, can you give me the sentence, your sentence? Um, past continuous, um, I was playing when I was casually hit in the face with a ball. I was playing when? When I was casually hit in the face with a ball. I was playing when I was, sorry? Casually, casualmente. Casually, uh-huh. Hit in the face with a ball. Hit with a bus. Hit in the face with a ball. Hit in the on the face. Uh -huh, or in the out. face. With a ball, okay. Mm -hmm. With a ball. Let's see. I was playing when I was casually hit in the face with a ball. Is yes. this correct or incorrect? Can anybody tell me if this is a correct sentence? Remember that we are trying to do this. We are trying to do this, right? Past continuous and simple past. This, right? Mm -hmm. So I was playing, very good. I was playing mm -hmm. soccer, I was playing football. When I... I was actually... I was playing when I... When casually, podemos decir... When casually, comma, casually here another comma. A ball hit my face. Okay. I was playing when casually a ball hit my face, right? A ball hit my face. Yo estaba jugando cuando una pelota me pegó en la cara. Very good, very good. So that's the way. Remember, this is the present, the past continuous, right? Past continuous. And this is the simple past. Oh, we can say that... Um, Upside down, actually, right? a ball hit my face when I was playing, right? We can say it in that way. Another person? Another Me volunteer? Me. Okay, Rina, go ahead. Last night, last night, while I was sleeping, I sorry. Last night while I was sleeping, sleeping, suddenly my cat jumped on my bed. My cat jumped on my bed. Very good. Last night while I was sleeping, comma suddenly comma my cat jumped on my bed. Very good. This is the Past continuous, and this is the simple past. Perfect. My cat jumped on my bed while I was sleeping last night. Perfect. Very good. Next one. Another person? 
Rina or Nancy? Oh. Okay, what is your sentence, Nancy? Sorry, but I was almost uh -huh. getting to my friend's car. She suddenly turned on, or I don't know if, if it is a start on or it's turned on. A starter like the car. If you, you yeah. can start start the car, yes. So well while I was almost getting into my friend's car, she suddenly starts. Okay, while I was almost getting to my friend's car, the car suddenly started. Like that, right? Yeah. Okay, while I was almost getting to my friend's car, comma, the car suddenly started. Yeah, well, almost, yeah, it's okay. The car suddenly started. Yes, because this is the past and this is um, the past continuous. Cuando estaba casi llegando al auto de mi amigo, el auto de repente se encendió. Very good. Yeah. Next one. Another volunteer. Or only those. Okay, Jose Moises, no problem. Only those? Okay. Remember okay, that. Yes, go ahead, Me. Maximo. I was riding my bike. When I fell and broke my arm. Okay, I fell and broke my arm. And that is a real story, Maximo? Yes. Yes. And what happened after that? I cried. <laughs> you cried a lot. Did that happen a, a long lot. time ago? <laughs> I cried a lot. Okay, that happened a long time ago. I, I, I was um, 11 years old. 11 years old. And you were riding your bike like very fast or? Mm, yes. Yes, right? Yes. I've never broken any of my bones. So probably that hurt a lot, right? I broke my body five times. Five times already. Okay, I'm sorry for you for those accidents. Yes, but actually sometimes uh, it is an accident or sometimes something happened. But in this case, you were riding your bike when you fell and broke your arm. Very good. Very good story, right, to tell to your kids or your family or your friends. Very good. Somebody else? Alguien más? Nobody else? Yes, Sonia, go ahead. Hello. Yes, what is your sentence? I was in my English class when unexpectedly my cat jumped on the computer, uh, but fortunately, nothing happened. My cat job jump on my computer. Yes. Okay. But fortunately, right? Yes. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Yes. Okay, I was in my English class when unexpectedly my cat jumped on my computer, but fortunately nothing happened. Very good. And that is real, a real story? Yes. <laughs> yes, when did it happen? Yes. Uh, 
siempre hacen lo mismo. Tengo dos gatos y casi siempre hacen lo mismo. Oh, two cats. What are their names? Eh, Naruto, eh, Neji. Okay, very good. Very good. Now, Okay. in this case, um, nothing happened. This is your sentence. I was in my English class when unexpectedly my cat jumped on my computer. For fortunately, nothing happened. Yes, in this case, uh, everything is correct, right? But this everything is in past. We are not combining. It's it's okay if you are telling a story just in past. It's okay. Si decimos eh, esto, todo está en pasado. Pero si esto ya pasó, está bien. Pero eh, in this case, we can use also the past continuous, right? Like this. Like I was, for example. I was taking, right? I was taking my English class. And that's it, right? Yes. Yo estaba tomando mi clase de inglés when unexpectedly my can jumped in on my computer, in my computer. Very good. Perfect. Another person? Only that? Okay, very good. So remember that the... Past continuous is this the action that was interrupted, right? And then um, with the simple past is the other action that interrupted the previous one, right? Perfect. Now we're going to continue with this one. In this class, participants will listen and practice conversations where people are catching up on news. Pay attention to the use of present perfect continuous in context. This information is already in the platform. Um, so if you check it there, you will be able to, to listen to the videos, right? Watch the videos. Now, this is another tense. No quiero que se confundan. Estábamos viendo anteriormente cuál? Past continuous and simple past, right? To tell stories. Now, past continuous and simple past. Pasado continuo y pasado simple. Y ahora vamos a ver el present perfect continuous. So the present perfect continuous tense is used to express that an action started in the past and continues up to the present. For example, I've been working for this company since 2010. She's been doing exercise for the last six months. Okay, so uh, let's see. Let's see who is here. I will ask you a question. Okay, Jeffrey, no problem. Melissa, are you there, Melissa? Yes, I'm here, teacher. Okay. In your own words, it can be in English or in Spanish. Uh, what do we use the present perfect for? The present perfect continuous. In my own words. Yes, in your own words. Um, it's some action that it start in the past, mm -hmm. but in the present is... It's continue, uh, it's continually doing. Yes, it's continually happening, right? Perfect. Yeah. In in Spanish, how would you explain that to me? En español, ¿cómo me lo explicaría el presente perfecto continuo? Es alguna acción que comenzó en el pasado, pero que sigue ejecutándose al momento. Very al good, presente. exactly, exactly. Can you give me an example? <laughs> Um, I've been, I've been studying English since I was in the high school. Very good. I, I've been studying English since I was in high school. He estado estudiando inglés desde 
que estoy en bachillerato y todavía estoy estudiando, ¿verdad? Es algo que pasó anteriormente y aún está pasando. Está, es relevante. Very good, Melissa. Okay. Very good. Now we are going to see the structure, the formulas, so you don't have any problem creating this kind of sentences, right? This is the present perfect continuous. These are positive sentences and negative sentences. So for positive sentences, we have subject plus have or has, depending on the subject, right? Plus being, plus verb in ing, plus complement. And you can see the colors here. I have been living in New Jersey since 2012. You see, she has been taking these pills for years. So these are the sentences in positive. This is the structure. If you want, if I ask you, um, Sonia or Melissa or Rosemary or Jeffrey, right? Write sentences, positive sentences in present perfect continuous. So you can follow this structure because you already know it's talking about something that was, uh, that started in the past, but it's still relevant, okay? Negative sentences. We have here the formula subject plus have, has, not, plus been, plus verb in ing, plus complement. Example, I have not been going college because of the pandemic. She has not been eating well since she moved alone. So it's the same, but it's in negative, right? Contractions have apostrophe B E, right? Has apostrophe S. Have not, haven't. Has not, hasn't. Those are contractions, right? So uh, this will be the formulas for these tenses. Do you have any questions, preguntas? Any questions about this? Because we already know that this present perfect continuous is for uh, things that are still relevant. And this is, these are the positive and negative sentences. To finish this topic, we are going to do the questions, right? Because right now we are going to practice the questions. Yes, no questions. And this is the structure for just no questions. Have or has plus subject plus being plus verb in ing, plus complement. Have you been practicing your dancing? Answers, yes, I have. No, I haven't. Si nos preguntan con have, ¿con qué vamos a responder? Con have. Have you? Yes, I have. Have you? No, I haven't. You see? So it is the, the same, right? It is the same. Have the kids been watching horror movies? Yes, they have. No, they haven't. Has she been taking online classes? Yes, she has. No, she hasn't. You see? So it is different, right? It is different uh, answers like um, she or, or they, depending on the, on the pronoun, right? We have to use have or has. Pero siempre que nos pregunten con have, Vamos a responder con have, yes or no. And WH questions, you already know, right? Where, what, how long. So the WH word is the beginning. Have or has is the next part of the sentence of the question. Subject plus been plus verb in ing plus complement. Where have you been doing exercise? I've been doing exercise at home. What has he been doing during this pandemic? He's been learning how to cook. How long has she been studying French? She's been studying for a year. You see? Now, uh, we're going to probably, if we have time, we're going to do that uh, tomorrow, right? Um, Not tomorrow, sorry, on Monday. Uh, this will be just an extra activity. Sure. If we have time, we will do it. Yes, go ahead. Sorry, uh, please uh, show the, yeah. Just to be clear on my mind, 
Uh -huh. And remember, I haven't studied English for a long time. Okay. Uh, have, have is for I, you, and they, right? Yes. Have has, is for I, you, we, they. We, they. And has, she, or he, and... It. It. Exactly. He, she, it, has. Tercera persona singular es has. Third person singular. Okay, thank you. Very thank you. good, very good question. Yes, it's okay, no problem. Now, the this is the present perfect continuous that what we have been studying, right? And I will make it bigger because probably you won't be able to see it clearly. Use the present perfect continuous for actions that start in the past and continue into the present, right? And we already checked some examples. Present perfect continuous is for a continuous or repeated activity that began in the past and continues into the present. It emphasizes the activity itself and its duration. And you can see here more information, right? I, we, you, they is have, right? As Rina was asking, I, we, you, they have plus being plus verb in ing. We have been working together since last year. And he, she, it has, right? He, she, it has been plus verb in ing. He has been painting this house for two hours. Structure of present perfect continuous, right? And this is the structure for the questions that we already checked. Like, have you been saving money lately? So that is a yes, no question. Let's see. Um, before doing this exercise, do you have any questions about the present perfect continuous? Preguntas acerca de la gramática, porque eso es toda la gramática. That's all the grammar that you need to know for the present perfect continuous. Questions? Okay, so right now I need you to help me to complete, help me complete this conversation with the present perfect continuous, right? For example, number one, it says, what space you do lately? Well, I spend my free time at the beach. What is the question with present perfect continuous? What is the question? What you do lately? What have you been you have been doing? Mm -hmm. What have you been doing? What have you been doing lately, right? Very good. What is lately, sister? Sorry? Mm -hmm. What is lately? What is lately? ¿Qué es? Lately. Ajá. Lately. Eh, últimamente. Lately. Ok. Eso es. ¿Qué has hecho? ¿Qué has estado haciendo últimamente? What have you been doing lately? Well, I spend. Thank you. I spend. ¿Cómo sería la respuesta? What would be the answer? I And then after the subject? I have. Uh-huh. I have been. Been. Uh-huh. Spending my free time at the beach. Very good. Well, I have been spending my free time at the beach. Right? Very good. He estado pasando el tiempo, mi tiempo libre, en la playa. Very good, right? Let's see number two. Uh, you work part time this year. You work. Where have you have you been working? Very good. Have you been working? Very good. Have you mm. been Have you been working part time this year? What is the answer? Yes, I have. Exactly. Yes, I have. Porque esta es una yes no question. No where, right? 
Uh, porque si vemos la respuesta, dice, yes, I have. I have. I have been making. Exactly. I have been making sandwiches at the lunchtime cafe for the past few months. You see? So, yes, I have. Is the la respuesta is yes, I have. It's a just no question, right? It's not a WH question, right? So, then he is providing more information with the verb make. Very good. Number three, that is a WH question. How you feel recently? How have you been feeling? Uh huh. How have you been feeling? Very good. How have you, you, have you been, been feeling, feeling recently? recently? recently. Exactly, perfect. You see, we are following the same structure. Esta estructura estamos siguiendo, ¿ve? Mm -hmm. Lo mismo, WH, have, subject, being, verb in ING, complement. If you follow this, you are not going to lose yourselves. It says, great, I get. I have, I have. been rating. Very good. I have been getting, getting, getting a getting. lot of sleep and I haven't not drink exactly because it's not drink is negative, right? I haven't contraction been, been mm -hmm. drink. drinking. Very good. Mm -hmm. I haven't been drinking as much coffee since I stopped working. Yeah at the coffee shop. Number four, this is a yes, no question, right? Because it says, no, I haven't. Have you been getting? Very good. Have you been getting? Because get is the verb in parentheses. Been getting enough said, exercise. Yes. I have a question about the, the verb getting. Mm -hmm. um it means um about the meaning of this verb in in the in the previous sentence uh when it says getting a loaf of the sleep mm -hmm. it could be taking also um taking is more with i imagine when you say taking that someone is taking with the hands right but you mm -hmm. cannot take a sleep with the hands como que no se puede agarrar el sueño Así me imagino ah, okay. yo que es taking. So that's the reason why it's getting, right? Getting in my body, right? Okay. And in the second, there is, have you been getting enough exercise? Mm -hmm. um, is correct getting or could be practicing? It could be practicing also. We choose, we chose getting because it's the verb mm -hmm. in parentheses. But if you want to choose practicing or doing, that's correct. Ah, okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, no problem. Uh, now we are going to answer, right? It says, no, I haven't. I study. I I have been. Uh, I have been or I've been. Studying. 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 Perfect. I've been studying a lot for a big sum. You see? Very good. Perfect. Perfect. Now, I don't know if you have any other question about this. Preguntas acerca de el present perfect continuous. Questions? I will make it bigger just in case that you have a question. So these are the response, right? The, the responses, right? From this exercise. So as you can see, if we follow the structure we are going to be able to create these kind of exercises. And here we have more examples. So if you don't have questions, I believe that you are able to, to use it, right? Do you feel prepared to use this tense, present perfect continuous? Yes. Ready? Okay. Now we are going to see an example how we can use the present perfect continuous. Ahora vamos a ver un ejemplo cómo se puede usar el present perfect continuous. This is a conversation about two friends and they are 
um, probably they are old friends and they are meeting again, right? And they are talking about the past and what they have been doing lately. So uh, we are going to listen to the conversation and then we are going to practice it, okay? Let's see. I think that I will uh, present it in a different tab. That would be better. Listen and practice. Can you listen to the conversation? Yes. Okay, we are going to listen and then we are going to practice it. Hey, Louisa. I haven't seen you in ages. What have you been doing lately? I haven't been going out much. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How come? I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've only been spending money. I've been trying to become an actor. I've been taking courses and going to a lot of auditions. Really? How long have you been trying? Since I graduated. But I haven't had any luck yet. No one recognizes my talent. Okay, perfect. Do you have any question about this conversation? Preguntas acerca de la conversación? What is it about? What is it about the conversation? Or do you want to listen to it again? It's about two old friends that they have not seen in some in ages, ages, as Age. as he says, and the girl has been working a lot and the boy just trying to get a job as an actor, but is he he have have not get the job exactly he's been trying to be an a, an actor right to become an actor but he hasn't uh been in many auditions a lot of auditions right perfect like they are uh catching up right that's the that's the phrase catching up with the things that they've been doing right very good perfect so uh, we were going to listen to it again. I want you to listen to it again. And then we are going to do an exercise. Un ejercicio. This is a conversation between two friends that see each other after a while. Let's listen. Page 81. Exercise 7. Conversation. What have they been doing? Part A. Listen and practice. Hey, Louisa. I haven't seen you in ages. What have you been doing lately? I haven't been going out much. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How come? I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've only been spending money. I've been trying to become an actor. I've been taking courses and going to a lot of auditions. Really? How long have you been trying? Since I graduated. But I haven't had any luck yet. No one recognizes my talent. Okay, very good. So now we are going to check here the present perfect continuous. What are the sentences that we can see in this conversation like in present perfect continuous cuáles son las oraciones que pueden identificar for example in the first one aha uh -huh. 
What have you been doing lately? Exactly. What have you been doing lately? What else? I haven't been going out much. Exactly. I haven't been going out much. What else? I've been working two jobs. I've been working two jobs. Very good. What else? I only I, I've only been spending. I've only been spending money, right? Exactly. I've only been spending money. What else? I've, I've been, been trying. trying Perfect. I've been trying to become an actor. What else? I've been taking. I've been taking courses. Uh -huh. I've been taking courses and going to a lot of auditions. Let's see. How, How long, long have, have you, you been? Exactly. How low have you been trying? Only that, right? Very good. Perfect. Yes. So as you can see, this conversation is about two friends that they haven't seen in some time and they are catching up, right? What, 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 what have you been doing, right? I've been doing this. I've been doing that. I've been working. I've been spending a lot of money. I've been traveling a lot. I haven't been or I haven't visited my, I haven't been, I don't know, uh, taking a lot of classes. I don't know, different information. So what I want you to do right now, because we still have some time, and I think that we are able to make it, is, let's see how many are we. Vamos a ver cuántos somos. Uh, nueve. Yes, I think that we are able to, to do it. Let's see, Jeffrey and Moises. You don't have um, access to your microphone, right? Jose Moises, right? You cannot you, you cannot speak, right? Jeffrey and Jose Moises, right? No teacher. Okay, perfect. So what we're going to do is just to create groups. And I want you to create a similar conversation. Quiero que creen una conversación similar y la vamos a practicar but with your own information, con su propia información. For example, if Rosemary and Maximo are working together in a group, uh, they are going to, they are not going to say, hey, Luisa, right? They are going to say, hey, Rosemary, I haven't seen you in ages. What have you been doing lately? And then Rosemary, oh, I haven't been, I, I've been learning English. I've been, so with your own information, right? I've been, uh, working in San Salvador. I've been traveling a lot. And you, Maximo? Oh, I haven't been doing a lot lately, right? Or I've been also learning English, right? Or I don't know. But try to create a short conversation like this one. Una conversación corta como esta, pero con su propia información. Les voy a dar de 10 a 15 minutos. Like, yes, uh, yes, 10 or 15 minutes. And then after that time, you are going to come here and you are going to present that uh, that conversation, okay? So let me see if I'm able to try to use the present perfect continuous, right? Because that's what we are practicing right now. Let me see here. Eight four. So Jeffrey and Jose Moises will be in the same one. Ellos no pueden hablar, verdad? Entonces Jeffrey and Jose Moises van a estar en la misma para que ellos puedan ser oyentes nada más. They will be listening only. Maximo and Melissa will be in one group. Nancy and Rina will be in another group. And Rosemary and Sonia will be in another group. You can join the groups right now and you can start working in pairs. Go ahead, please.
Bye. 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 Con qué oración comentar. Así yo estaba en la mano primero. Bye. Que estuviéramos en el trabajo. <risa> y le tomó captura a la, a la conversación. Creo que sí la tengo. También si yo le pregunto. Yo digo que ahí sí, 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 sí se podría usar el how, how been. Eh, how been. Entonces yo le pregunto, eh, hola Sonia, he estado escuchando música toda la mañana. Porque es algo que, o sea, como algo que, que, que pasó, pero como que, o sea, siempre lo va a seguir haciendo algo así. Ajá, va. Por ejemplo, sería pero, Rosemary. Entonces sería hello. Pero no sé si puedo usar el have been. Que no sé si lo que sería. Tenemos 10 minutos, tío. Yo siento que me irá a tirar. 15, ¿qué 15 aproximadamente? Hello, Claudia. Are you there? Claudia, are you there? Okay, we're working in pairs right now. We're working in groups. They will be back in about five minutes, okay? Okay, you still have five minutes to prepare your conversation. Uh, I send the picture of the conversation in the WhatsApp group. Tienen la conversación en el grupo de WhatsApp. Ahí la envié si no le tomaron un screenshot. Y pueden nada más improvisar si les queda poco tiempo, okay? Tienen más o menos cinco minutos. I have been going. ¿Cómo? I have been going, me dijo. I have been going on my car to a lot of places. Bueno, si quieres, así, deje, así dejémoslo y, 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 y practiquémoslo. Vale. Va, comienzo yo. Hi, Nancy. I have been see you since last year. How have you been? Hi, Rina. It's great to see you again. Well, I have been taking drive, driving classes. What about you? That's cool. I have been driving since last year. Oh, that uh -huh. really, really, that's so nice. Maybe I can take classes with you someday. Of course, I can teach you. I have been going on my car to a lot of places. Great. <laughs> Ajá, y comenzar así como great. Ajá. Bye. Creo que está bien así. Sí, estamos utilizándolas. Un montón, L. <laughs> sí. Ah, pues nos unimos entonces a la otra. Lo dejamos así entonces. Practicamos sí. más. Démosle la, la última vez. Bye. Hi, Nancy. Nancy, se pronuncia su nombre, ¿verdad? Sí. Nancy. I have been. I do not. Ay, no sé cómo pasarlo así como lo estamos usando en el continuo. Uh -huh. I didn't have time to travel. I... Bueno, no, no sé cómo agregarlo, la verdad. To be okay. honest. Uh -huh. I didn't have time to travel. 
Because I have been working a lot. I have two jobs. And I okay. have been saving money to pay my university. Okay. 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 No sé si Then... le quieres agregar más. Hmm. Bye. Necesitas... Bye, Melissa. Okay. Okay, it's okay. Bye, no. Melissa. But I think it was okay. It's a pleasure to see you. Take care. Mm -hmm. okay, bye, Melissa. Yeah, okay. it's a pleasure. It's Thank a pleasure to see you. To see you. Take care. Okay, see you on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> On Monday. Okay. Si quieres repasamos una última vez, pero okay. que ya Hi Melissa. Hi Maximo. I didn't see you in a while. What have you been doing lately? I have been traveling. I have been in Mexico. No, pero I've been traveling. Travel. Uh -huh. Traveling. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hello, everybody. Did you finish, Nancy and Rina? Yes, teacher. Okay, we're going to call the rest to join us, okay? Very good. Okay, do you want to participate first, Rina and Nacy? Yes, teacher. It's okay. Okay, we're going to uh, we're going to wait for the rest. Okay, just allow me one moment, please. Okay, thank you. Welcome everyone to uh, the class again. So we are going to check the conversation. Vamos a ver cómo lo hicieron. Nacy and, and Melissa, right? You were with Melissa, right, Nacy? Rina. With Rina, sorry. With Rina. So uh, we are going to start with you. Just let me see here. When you're ready, let me know, okay? Okay, go ahead. Okay. Hi, Nancy. I haven't seen you since last year. How have you been? Hi, Rina. It's great to see you again. Well, I have been uh, taking drive classes. What about you? Oh, that's cool. I have been driving since, since last year. Oh, really? That's so nice. Maybe I can take classes with you someday. Of course, I can teach you. I can teach you. I have been going on my car to a lot of places. Oh, that sounds great. That's it, teacher. That's it. <laughs> okay, very good, very good. You did it very well. You you used the present uh, perfect continuous. That was the purpose. I you've been doing. You've been taking classes. How you been doing? Perfect. Let's see another volunteer. Another group? Me and Maximo and me. Melissa and Maximo. Okay, perfect. Go ahead, please. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Maximo. I didn't see you in a while. What have you uh, been doing lately? I have been traveling. Oh, great. Where have you been? I have been in Mexico. I have been enjoying in Cancun. Have you been out of El Salvador, Melissa? No, unfortunately, I didn't have time to travel because I have been working a lot. I have two jobs 
because I have been saving money to pay my university. Okay. Bye, Melissa. Okay, Maximo, it's a pleasure to see you. Take care. See you on Monday. Okay, very good. Perfect. I've been enjoying time in Mexico. I've been saving money to pay the university and I've been working. Very good. Perfect. Recommendations. We can use also um, contractions, right? But very good. Perfect. And the last, uh, the last team. El último equipo. Rosemary, I guess, right? Really? And who were you working with? Yes. Sonia. Yes. Sonia. Uh, did you do something or you were not able to? Yes. Yes. Do you want to yes. practice the conversation right now or? Okay. Okay. Hello, Sonia. Have you been listening to music? Hi, Rosemary. Yes, I have been listening to music all day in my work and you. Oh, okay. I am have, have been making that sandwich all morning. Oh, really? That's good. Yes, and see you later. Honey. Okay, Rosemary, bye. Okay, very good. Oh, yes. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> very good. Yeah, very good because you use at least you use you've been I've been listening to music and I've been making a sandwich for the whole morning, probably a big sandwich, right? But <laughs> very good, perfect. Let's see. I guess that Jeffrey and Jose Moises were not able to speak, right? Because they have problems with uh, the, their audio, but very good, perfect. I think that you have understood the idea of, of the present perfect continuous and how we can use it. Now, um, I guess that that will be it for the first week. Thank you for your hard work. I am um, I appreciate you to be here on a Friday night at 8.56 p.m. I will share this information with you in the WhatsApp group. And if you have any question, any doubt about the platform, let me know. Remember that we have to finish it, uh, section one and section two for today, okay? Do you have any other question, any comment? No. no? Okay, perfect. So have a nice night, have a nice weekend, and I will see you on Monday, okay? Thank you so much, teacher. Thank you. Thank Have you a nice day. The same to you. Bye.